Hello everyone, I'm the Game Hero, and we Eco Boko me, oh. and we killed him. Oh. That's better. Hey, you found my sled. I'll go and practice for the big race now. See ya, buddy. She don't want to see a doctor first. I literally crashed a sled into you. Also, speaking of seeing a doctor, uh, Kazooie, I don't think you should eat this one. It was in that guy's stomach. Uh, wait, Kazooie. Okay. Ah! Alright, let's go give those kids their presents. Let's go present them their presents. Are they called presents because you present them to present them to someone? Or I know that's an odd question, but like I never really thought about that. Because there's so many things where... Uh, I was listening to a thing recently where there's like a ton of comp... These are huge. How are you in my backpack? Wow, thank you, brown bear. I feel like that's mildly racist. Cool, another present. We need just one more. Lucky for you. Yippee, now we've all got presents. Here's something for you. Aw, how nice. We truly are in the spirit of giving. I like how the music even cheered up too. Ah, we're already better than the deadbeat dad. We we are adopting these kids. They're bears, we are bears. You are my children now. Hello, children. It's nice to see you. I'm glad you're happy. Alright, onward. Just like your other dad, I'm abandoning you. Alright, two Mumbo's hut. We saw it earlier. We're heading there now. Whee! Ow, I was about to say, this is probably going to hurt. But then I was like, you know what? No, it's not going to hurt. Uh, real quick. Let's get these notes. While I'm here. Hello again, buddy. I'm waiting for someone to race me. We're racing, num 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 butt. Sorry, you're too big for my sled. I can only race someone small. Why do you have two sleds of varying size? I'm also smaller than you. So what? I, I rode that sled earlier. Wait, hold up. We literally rode that sled down. We rode the smaller sled. Bucky's a prick. The deadbeat dad, and honestly, I think a cheater. Because he's like, oh, I can't race you, you're too big. Yeah, th that's it, that's it. Got it. Nailed it. Is there a way to get across here without getting hurt? There's waiting boots there. Are there waiting boots on this side? I don't see any waiting boots. Do I just have to, like, go get hurt? There's no waiting boots over here. What the hell? Mumbo, why do you have waiting boots on one side but not on the other? I nearly walked in. Either I'm too stupid to see them, and, like, someone in the comments is going to be screaming at me, They're right there! Or, like, Mumbo just doesn't have any waiting boots over here. Uh, wait, what? Where? Oh, never mind. What? There's some over by his hut, but not. Oh, I was like, wait, am I that stupid? Sorry. You, you made me feel so stupid for a second. You were saying Mumbo and it confused me. All right, we're just gonna do this. That doesn't work. What's the point of having invincibility if it doesn't make you invincible? Fine, we're just taking the hit. I could probably fly over there, but the flight pad's so far away. Hey, Mumbo, this place is inaccessible and you're a deck. Okay, first things first. Notes, Jinjo. I'm gonna put off talking to him, because I'm angry with him at the moment. Give him the silent treatment. Alright, but I actually have to talk to him. So, uh, transform me. Ah, 
I'm a walrus. Benjo gone all fat. Got teeth. Got big teeth. Her, her. I'm actually smaller than I was before. What do you mean, gone all fat? That isn't the joke that Ban- Like, of the series, that Banjo's, like, naturally fat? I always thought that was odd, considering Banjo's, like... If you ever played the bad Banjo Kazooie game, you know that he gets fatter, so I don't get what they always mean by Banjo's gotten fat. But this game's just rude. It's constantly shaming poor Banjo. You found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. Yay. Alright, now we get to slowly trickle along as a walrus. Uh, we can go do the race, but I kind of want to go over here first. Wazo was not willing to talk to a bear, but we're a walrus now, which means he's willing to talk to us. Wait. So wait, Wazo was willing to talk to us just because we were a bear, even though we're honestly pretty nice, but now that we're a walrus, is Wazo also racist? I feel like this... This episode... I know I'm throwing this around a lot, but, like, the bears were like, Oh, you're brown. It's like, oh, I'll only talk to walruses. I guess this is technically specious. Whoa, another walrus. Take this. But watch out for a smell. Okay, you know what? I take... Uh, he, he is racist. He 100%. No doubt. Screw Waza. He literally called me a smelly brown bear and an ugly bird. I'm gonna come back here and kick your ass later. Stay right there. If we come inside, we can actually talk to him. What do you have to say? Why, hello again, Mr. Walrus. Feel free to have a look around. Was this cave. I'm gonna break this place later. Was is a jerk. Let's go race Boggy. He might be a deadbeat dad, but at least he didn't insult me. He didn't call me ugly. He didn't call me smelly and ugly. Stupid walrus. He's smelly. He's ugly. He's rude. Hashtag cancel Waza. <laughs> what? What year was this game made? 1990... 1999? We can't... Like most things, we're going to cancel them years after they happened. Uh, don't get me wrong, you should, like, uh, fancy race hop on sled if you do. Don't get me wrong, there's things that, like, should, but, like, uh, I feel like I've dug myself in the hole here. We're just gonna stop digging. Great, now all you need to do is steer your sled through the red slalom? Gates and beep at the end, got it? Three, two, one, go. There's a point where you dig yourself into a hole and you just gotta stop digging. Seriously though, cancel Waza. Dude's a jerk. Where'd these bridges come from? Wait, what? Whoa, oh, hey! Excuse no, hey, did he punch me? Why does everyone punch me? Why is everyone so rude? Hey, he's trying to knock me off. I feel like this is cheating. Everyone's a, everyone's a cheater. Everyone's a jerk. I also think he has Slingshot AI, so it, for those of you who don't know, Slingshot AI basically means he will, uh, no matter how far ahead of him, he's going to kind of, he'll catch up by slingshotting to you. And it's really bull, and I hate anything with Slingshot AI. It really, if you ever play, like, old racing games that have like really bad slingshot AI it's super annoying like I know the first Mario Kart has it hey we beat him phew you're too quick for me Mr. Walrus here's your medal I reckon I need to race someone my own size yeah you could have earlier everyone in Freeze Easy Peak is kind of a jerk we got we got insulting walruses, possibly racist children, definitely racist walrus. I'm not, I'm not going to ease up on that. This was this cave? It is. What if we had, I could have done the race first and I'd end up here. I didn't know the finish line was over here. That's on me. 
Alright. Let's... Let's go to Mambos. Because we still have one more thing to do. And that's go Bullywaza. He has a Jinjo there too, but mainly Bullywaza. I just want to be a jerk to him for a second. He's not a nice walrus. Uh, I may, maybe I should have cut here, but this ward isn't too big. So who cares? Make me a bad bird again. I'm going to torment a walrus who is mean to me. Thank you. I'm so him calling me ugly. Calling me smelly. I'm, I'm coming to kick his ass. I feel like... I, I'm still thinking about like my topics on cancel culture. I feel like there's like a good discussion to have about cancel culture. And like when it's deserved and when it isn't. But I don't want to dig myself deeper. Because I... Like... I feel like when someone's objectively terrible, you need to take their platform away. Because it's like you don't want them to continue spreading a terrible message. But when it's like kind of skeptical, it really is like there's not much evidence or there's stuff like that. I feel like it always is kind of rough when you just see a bunch of people jumping on the bandwagon. Because sometimes it's nothing. I think that happened with Trevor Collins at Achievement Hunter. Uh, like, I think so. Hey! Eve! The bear again! Take that noisy orange thing with you and leave. Poor Wazo alone. If I think it did, I sort of remember something about that. This is a nice little place. That was very triumphant music for nothing. Let's get, let's get our Jiggy. I think it happened to him. There's another example there, but we're not going to discuss that. I know some of you are thinking, no, that's not who we're talking about. No, I, I'm talking about, like, the whole, uh, trying to cancel someone who, like, didn't deserve it. That's what I'm referring to. The other thing was deserved, and we're not going to talk about it. And we're going to end it there. We're done with this. We're done talking about canceling. I made my point. I said my piece. I, I tried to be a little peaceful. Alright, so, Waz over here, and he will race you now as Banjo-Kazooie, but he's faster, and it's harder. You don't have to do this now, but I want to suffer. Hey buddy, fancy a race against Boggy? Press A or accept, or will beat a chicken out. Well, when you phrase it like that, I'm no chicken. Okay buddy, here's the rules, run through, I know. I guess he technically doesn't recognize us as the same person, but... Okay, we're going to... He is so fast, oh my god. I thought this was possible. As with... No, you have to come back later. This is too easy, I'm giving up. Wow. I remember it being like, hard but possible. Come on buddy, try again. Uh, no. You was sh you had like, you drank like NOS, and I don't mean the energy drink. I mean like actual nice nitrous, and you were farting blue flames, going like Tokyo drifting around the corners. You know, I recently watched all the banjo, uh, not all the banjo, all the Fast and Furious movies, so that's like fresh in my mind. Okay, we will come back to Freeze Easy Peak later, so don't worry about the uh about boggy's race you don't need to do it right now and don't worry about the witch switch you don't need to do that now either you can actually take a break when did you get there oh right we opened the gate so you guys start like flooding out i forgot about that i think i haven't mentioned that when you open the gates uh enemies from that world will start coming into gruntoda's lair the first instance of that was like the termite outside that i killed but, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, I, I'll be honest. I was so confused 
because my notes say going to the 360 door and I and I didn't realize it means notes there's also not a 360 doors there's 450 and 350 my notes are stupid I probably typoed there but I said 360 door I was like what like I thought it meant like a spinning door for a second this is why you don't let me write notes Okay, so we want to come in here. Welcome to the only f sort of fire area in the game. I wouldn't say so. Oh god. Okay, fine. It's a fire area. Death by lava. Get it. Truck along carefully. You just need to make it over to here, with the picture to Gobi's Valley is. You can go a little further, but you don't need to right now, so don't really worry about it. Now, let's go... Uh, back down. Back the way we came. Yeah, Adventure of Baron Bird. Screw you too. Let's go to Gobi's Desert. If you remember the wading boots over here, you can actually use them to get through the hot sand that's over here. I'm saying over here a lot. So let's go over here, these stairs over here, and you'll find some uh, hot boiling sand over here. Which uh, I know is a thing because I grew up in the desert. Like, if sand's too hot, it really hurts your bare feet. And we'll also find Brentilda. Okay, back to my notes. Do, 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 do. Just gotta write these down. Okay, what disgusting new trivia do you have for today? It's like, the, time for the world's worst game of Trivial Pursuit. Grunty's best friend at wit school was the awful fatty hattie. That seems rude. I feel, I feel like that wasn't even like a, uh, I feel like that wasn't even like her actual name. I feel like you were just fat shaming her. Shame on you. When relaxing, she usually reads Big Butts and Guts magazine. Okay. This is a different time. And we're going to uh, treat it as such. such. Okay. We're going to, uh, just accept that this came out at a different time. While sipping a glass of a favorite camel- <coughs> How do you make a milkshake out of that? How? That- I feel like the consistency would be all off. Where? What the hell is up with you guys? You guys coming up with the worst kind of things. Into Gobi's Valley. Okay. So we can, as you can already hear, there is a Jinjo. I need to get my notes back on track. I didn't write Gobi's Desert. I just wrote Gobi Desert. I don't know why I did it that. Anyway, turn, turn around immediately, find your first ginger. I think there's some notes on the water here. Are there? Nope. Trunker wants rain. <gasps> I'm shriveling up. Eyes are nuts, Bark Breath. Kazooie! Legs and feathers help. No. <gasps> Need water. Help. Okay, I know you're like rooted down, but how are you dr how are you in a drought? You're a tree in an oasis. There's grass growing here. I think you're just complaining for the sake of complaining. And hey, welcome to Gobi's Valley, the desert level. I always like desert levels. There's something special about them to me. Maybe I'm, maybe it's just because it just reminds me of home. I did I was raised in a desert. Excuse me, Mr. Hand. F off. 
So there's something a little bit special about it to me. Like, uh... I also just really like sand texture. I really just like the yellow color of sand. I mean, my main color for this channel is yellow, so you guys know I do actually like yellow. Uh, is there notes on... What's... Oh, I thought there was notes down there. I was checking. I was making sure. I don't want to miss notes. I'm perfectly fine if I miss anything else. I don't want to miss notes. Ecom bokum. I can miss mumbo tokens, feathers, jiggies I can come back for later. My nose is all about that. But, uh, notes are the one thing where it's gonna be like, because there's a. Oh, I didn't mean. To, I was trying to adjust the camera and I accidentally wonder winked. Hey, that tickles. I feel like eggs should not unstuff your nose. Don't eggs like. Okay, I don't, I don't get the logic of that, but we're just gonna take it. Oh, that, that clip drinks his nose. Come in. Feels very odd that you, that we cleared your nose and you're like, oh yes, let me let you inside my body. It's even worse when I phrase it like that. But we'll move on. Onward, upward. Oh god! I was tricked. We were fooled. We were tricked, fooled, and might I even say bamboozled. Okay, need to be closer there. My bad. Notes. Uh. God. Oh, you actually took that. First things first, Jinjo. Ah, crap! Still got the Jinjo! And a concussion. And probably broken legs. But, hey. What's life without a few cracked bones? I actually don't think I've broken a bone. I know I've, like, fractured, but I don't think I've, like, had a full break. I, there is a difference. I'm not sure though. I think it was a fracture. It was a long time ago. It was like in first grade. I got like I accidentally got pushed down onto the blacktop, and uh, I really I hurt my arm really badly. I don't know if it was a. I stop. I'm just trying to adjust the camera. It's almost like putting the button. It's like putting. It's almost like pulling the button for Wonder Wing and the camera would, as the same thing, was bad. You can also use the bumpers, but it's a little bit awkward to do so. Okay, I still got it. Why can't Wonder Wing use the, bu be, use the bumpers? Who, like, uses the bumpers too often? I actually don't really use the bumpers in this game, because, like, when you have free camera control like this, uh, you can, one, Probably mess up people's eyes there. I'm kind of sorry about that. And, uh, two. I don't really use, like, the correct, the put camera behind you thing that often in this game. Because I just have camera controls. Like, in Zelda, I used that, but that was because I didn't have a button that allowed me to turn the camera. So it was like, what's the point? Okay, time to uh, play some Superman 64 and fly through rings. Summon all the hidden rings of the ancients to beat the witch. Oh man, this will end the game, guys. Maybe Superman was onto something. Look at the life over there. How neat. How quaint. Is it weird that I actually do want to own Superman 64? I only like, it's only something I know about, but I want to have like an actual copy of it. Mainly because I don't like ha emulators that much. I feel like there's always those people, 
because like there's always the uh pc game players who are like why would you have a console when you when you can get every game on pc it's like where's the fun in that only joking mortal we can only give you this well that was rude i mean thank you technically this will help me beat the witch but i still feel lied to how dare you shame on you wave it is the jink there's the uh, I'm not. There's another use for uh, the. I already forgot the move is. Beak burst thing. There's no use for it. To help you get across the little real fast. Let's get out Jiggy. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, collecting. I actually really like collecting uh, games. Uh. I always think, like, whenever there's a PC person who's like, oh, you can just have every single game on, uh, PC, it's like, no, you don't have the game. Only we sand eels can survive in here. Oops, I'm going to die. Because I did a dumb. Can you grab? Nope. I pressed the wrong button, okay? It happens. I make mistakes sometimes. But it's not, but like for me, it's like, that's not owning the game, that's you stole it, and you don't even have like, a copy of it. You have something you, something someone ripped from a computer. Like, here's the thing, if you own a pirated DVD, I feel like you don't necessarily, you technically own the movie. Because there's nothing, you're not missing out on anything when you pirate DVD. As bad as that sounds, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. I'm not encouraging that. I want to make that perfectly clear. But, like, the difference is, with the game, you do lose something. God damn it. I'm so focused on the point I'm trying to make that I'm messing up my button prompts. Curses of being an idiot. Moving on. You lose out, like... One, even a digital copy is a, is like a little more true because like it's still on the console. But I feel like the big difference is when you own a digital copy, not a digital copy, a pirated copy of a game. You don't have like the controller. You don't have the uh, you don't have the console. I'm so glad the timer was going on as I. As the cutscene played, that was fair. It's just, you definitely lose something by doing that. And you can say you have every game. Technically, you do. But, like, you can play every game. But I feel like you don't have it. You don't have the same experience. And, sh and I always feel like when someone says, Oh yeah, but games run better on PC. Sometimes, I feel, I get where you're coming from there. But, like, if you're like me and you play a lot of retro games, we're playing an N64 game here. Hello, my friend. I am Luby. Can I beat... Sure. You're not getting for treasure, pipe boy. Very good. I see some up there. It's yours if you can get it. Yes? Well, first things first, Mumbo. Like, if you like the PC, there's nothing wrong with that. Let me make that perfectly clear. The PC is completely valid. I'm not going to say, like, oh, the, anyone who plays PC is stupid. No, this nothing wrong with playing PC, it's still playing games. In fact, there's certain games that are enhanced by PC. I would honestly say any first-person shooter should rightfully be played on PC. Even Halo, which was an Xbox original at first and only recently got put there, I'd say it's probably better on PC, because, like, naturally, any game. Ah, oh, thousand thanks, my friend. My friend Histup will now help you with your quest. Alright, Histup, take me up. Oh, you can take me up a little bit higher. Coming back up for it. Anyway, that's just my two cents on the matter. I don't know. Maybe my two cents aren't worth anything. Maybe. Maybe they that is a worthless two cents. I just think there's value to game collecting. I don't even think you have to collect the physical copies of games like I do. Like you don't need the shelves. I just feel like there's something. Uh, of value to game collecting and if you just are like 
I if you're just emulating every game, you I feel like you're losing something because you're just willing to sacrifice the integrity of that game for the sake of convenience. You're also possibly suffering like what like a five hundred dollar fine if someone cares enough to call you out on it. Like I don't necessarily care when people emulate games, especially when it's like games that never reached America. Because I, I have one, and it's uh, the prosecutor's path for Ace Attorney, because that never came to America. I've been rambling on about this for too long. I, I was actually going to end the episode after the last Jiggy, but I was like, I'll just get these notes while I... Ow! While I finish my thought, because I'm going to lose track of that thought next episode. Okay, game. going to collect our these la I'm gonna get these last couple notes and we'll call it an episode. I know a I feel like <sighs> I was about to start another topic, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna end the episode. This is the end of the episode, okay? Thank you all for watching this episode of Banjo Kazooie. Uh, if you like this part, leave a like show today. If you really like subscribe for more like it every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. If you didn't and if you uh want to check out Lean the Blind, you can see that uh Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Forgot the schedule. We're actually almost done with Ace Attorney. In fact, no, I was about to say when this comes out, we might actually be done. But we will not be. Um, and if you didn't like it, there's a button for that too. Maybe you can leave a like. It's because I rambled on about emulators and uh, bear racism for too long. Yeah. I mean, I guess technically I rambled on about cancel culture. I'm still rambling. Okay. Follow me on Twitter at the Real Game Hero. Follow the, uh, my editor and artist at Alinksa at Alinksa underscore art. I have been the Game Hero, and I will see you guys next time. Later. Ow! Bruce.